Thank you for visiting OceanTemp.com. This video will show you how to use all the features on our new OceanView Online Chart Viewer. After you log in, you have the option of selecting between our different regional maps. We'll be using the Northeast region for this tutorial. As the main interface opens, you will notice three major components on your screen. Main Viewing Area, Control Panel, and Zoom Button. Now let's take a look at the control panel, starting with zone selection. The default chart on the Northeast region will always start with zone 1. However, if you want to change that, you simply go to the drop-down menu and select another zone. For example, selecting zone 2 moves the map further south of the New Jersey coastline. Selecting zone 3 puts the map even further south. Following your mouse is an information bubble that reads data at the tip of the cursor, for example, latitude, longitude, temperature, and distance. For now, the distance will be blank. We will be addressing that later on during the navigation portion of this tutorial. Your mouse controls everything on the screen, and your mouse wheel can be used to zoom in and out. However, if no mouse wheel is present, then zooming can be accomplished by using the plus and minus boxes in the lower left portion of the viewing window. You can pan your chart by left-clicking with your mouse and dragging. Next on the control panel is the Past Date and Time section. The Past Date and Time are the actual time that the satellite photo was taken. The viewer always displays the most recent chart for any zone and keeps an archive of previous charts. You can open the drop-down menu to display all the charts in the archive. Here I will select one to illustrate how it works. Here I will select an archive chart from June 2nd, 2009 at 18.06. When I'm done, I can go ahead and set it back to the most recent chart. Next are the Latitude Longitude Format buttons. The user can select between traditional format, which would be found on most nautical charts, or decimal format that is used for GPS receivers. This will change the latitude longitude format in the mouse cursor information bubble and in the waypoint control console. The waypoints and navigation console is our next item on the control panel. This tool provides the user with a way to make simple distance measurements and to create a set of waypoints. We'll start with simple distance measurement. Left click once on any portion of the map. A small circle marker with the letter H will appear. At this time, the distance data on the cursor bubble will come alive and start displaying distance in nautical miles from H anywhere you place the cursor. Now we will create a set of waypoints. Leaving the H marker intact, left click once again anywhere on the chart. A new marker will appear with the number one inside it. This is your first waypoint. At this time, Find the brown-gray colored partial window sticking out just below the print button and the full screen button. Open the window by clicking on the two small triangles. This is the waypoint data window. It should show two lines of data, the letter H for your home marker and the new number one marker for your first waypoint. The lines display latitude and longitude at the corresponding waypoint along with temperature, the magnetic heading, which you'll note is the same as your boat compass will show, distance and nautical miles, and total distance. As I select waypoints on screen, notice how the data appears in the waypoint data window. And don't forget that the latitude and longitude data can be displayed in traditional or GPS format. You can save the waypoints simply by clicking the Save button on the waypoints console. You will be prompted to create a name for your waypoints. If you want to load previously saved points, you can click on the Load button of the waypoints console. You should note that the save is just for your session and most likely will not be there once you return. You can remove waypoints by clicking the X for each point. You can also clear all of your waypoints by clicking the clear button on the console. Now we come to the chart slideshow. These are archived charts for a particular zone. It works by selecting either the left or the right arrow button. They will scroll through every two seconds. Now you should note they will scroll faster once all images have loaded. You can stop the slideshow by hitting the pause button. 
and the back button can be used to return to previous charts. Looking at the scrolling charts can help determine the current and the warm water eddy movement. On the control panel, you also have the option of full screen mode. Simply press the full screen button, which will expand the application to full screen. Pressing the same button or the escape key takes you back to regular window mode. You can easily print the current chart that you are viewing by clicking the print button in the lower part of your control panel. The interface will print whatever is on the screen at the time. Now it's important for you to know that we recommend printing in landscape mode so that the charts fill up an entire sheet of paper instead of just the top one third or two thirds. The difference is huge. You can find landscape mode by going to the preferences button on your computer's printer screen and selecting landscape. Portrait is usually the default setting. Then click OK to close the window and click print.